Scorpio to your end of the month reading for October. I hope your friends are doing great out there during this Mercury retrograde. If you like this, please like and subscribe. Okay. Well, the good news is this is the last Mercury retrograde of the year. So, woohoo. Okay. Hope it is treating you well. Um, it will end on October 3rd, which is Election Day. So, interesting, right? Okay. So, we'll see how that goes for those of you who are in America. United States, that is. Okay. Okay, let's see what's going on over here, Scorpio. What is Scorpio thinking, feeling, and in their energy? You have the death card coming out. This is feeling chaos, overwhelming. Um, it might feel an ending to something or wanting an ending to something. We'll see what's going on with that. That is your own card, though. So sitting in your own energy, Scorpio, feeling a transitional point within your life as well. Um, something might be transitioning around you or maybe you are taking a transformation. Let's clarify that with the Oracle card. <clears throat> This Oracle card is not only going to clarify on the death card, but also the entire reading. So it has a big job. Clarifying the death card in the entire reading. Yes, please, Spirit. Scorpio. Scorpio death card and overall reading. Oh, what do we got? Transformation. Oh my gosh. Two death cards coming out. They are 100% letting you know there is chaos, overwhelming situations that is leading to a transformation around you. Um, whether it's within yourself or just in your environment around you, somehow or another, right? You need somebody around you doing so. Um, okay. Getting straight into the situation. The situation is taking place in the present, near past, and the near future. You have patience and planning coming out in the present with destiny. In the near past, you have power. And choose wisely. In the near future, you have the awareness. Wow. Okay, so you have five cards. Five cards showing that change. I have a change going on over here. You have four. These are these are fours. So that's the stability, the change, the transformation um, within your own self. And also five is change and uncertainty. There could be an uncertain change going on around you that you're not 100% where, you know, how is this destiny going to get to where it needs to be? feels kind of uncertain for sure. Um, going straight over here into the past, the recent past, this could have been a week ago, two days ago, a month ago. You have the power, could be dealing with a Leo, and choose wisely. But however it is, it looks like you are going to have to use some kind of power to choose wisely in a situation, okay, whether this is love or whatever it is for you guys. It's going to be different for everybody since it is a general reading. You have the moon upside down coming out with the temperance, and this is on the Leo. This temperance is kind of coming on to the choose wisely, and ooh. Okay, and then you have the star. So this power is like you have, I'm, I'm literally seeing that there is something hidden something secretly hidden, and you're trying to take the power back from whatever is hidden and secret, but you're kind of getting the clarity, and it's sitting over here next to the awareness. So whatever is hidden is kind of coming to light, and it feels like you're even trying to keep the faith in um, understanding what is going on. There could be even some healing involved. Um, I put it the... Temperance upside down with the choose wisely is almost like you don't feel like there is this perfect timing um, for this whole event, um, this whole situation. Um, it could be with a loved one. It could be just whatever circumstances is. But there's something definitely that feels like it's in the dark for you with the moon. Keeping the power against deceit, lies, secrets. Secrets are being revealed. Um, I, but I do feel like with the star, there is a little bit of clarity going on to what is going on with this moon upside down. 
It feels like you might not know the whole situation, but it feels like every day in the past, it just kind of gets a little clearer and a little clearer and a little clearer, kind of like a fish swimming. Every time they take a jump into the water, it, a new insight comes in. And so you're trying to choose wisely over here, you know, with the temperance upside down, it's like this overwhelming feeling of, I want more clarity of the situation. I'm trying to take the power and stay strong, um, but it's hard when everything is so secretive. So whether or not your person is being secretive, it could be a Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Leo, or an Aquarius. Man, you guys, we've got all kinds of stuff going on over here, all these signs. Um, they are doing something so secretive and you're just picking up breadcrumbs. It, that's exactly what it feels like. They're leaving breadcrumbs and you're picking them up and it's almost like you're putting them down, right? And it's almost like it's a puzzle and you're putting the puzzle pieces together. These breadcrumbs are making a puzzle, but you're not really sure where they're going with the temperance upside down. So you have to choose wisely. On the choose wisely, it seems so imbalanced. I don't understand. Like, even though I have the clarity of what's going on, but there are such small breadcrumbs. Um, it's almost like I'm wishing upon a star trying to figure out how is this going to work? How is this going to justify itself? How is this going to work in the end? Um, is this ever going to be balanced? Um, this just seems like the moderate moving going on over here with the temperance is almost maybe I'm wasting my time trying to figure out what's going on. Maybe I shouldn't even do this anymore. Maybe I should give up. So I feel like maybe with the choosing wisely, you have this kind of feeling of, am I wasting my time trying to figure out this secret? Um, because no matter what, it doesn't feel like it's balanced and it feels like I'm never going to know the truth. I'm never going to 100% know the truth to the situation. So I just, the only choose wisely I can do is put the breadcrumbs together. That's really what this is. And you guys could be dealing with a Libra. Okay. So yeah, finding no truth, but trying to choose wisely to the situation with the patience and planning. And this is where it's the chaos and the overwhelming is coming in and within your energy is from this past, right? It's where's the truth in all this? How do I transform out of this? What do I do? Um, so the transformation over here just feels like you're going to have to choose wisely to get to this transformation, to understand this chaos, this waste, <laughs> the secret. Um, wow. With the patient and planning over here, we're going straight into the present. You are waiting for your ships to come in. It's almost like you're waiting for more breadcrumbs, waiting for someone to leave more more answers, waiting for answers to come in. Where is this going? I'm patiently planning on how to receive more. Are you waiting for someone to come in with news to tell you? You're doing a lot of research. Like I said, you might be waiting for a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius to come. And like I said over here, right? Oh, that's funny. We have the Aquarius and the Libra here to leave you these breadcrumbs to give you more knowledge about what you want, more communication. Are you receiving this information um, about maybe a fire sign or a water sign? It is the breadcrumbs you're being left from another person, right? Are they telling you the secrets of this other person, right? So you're waiting for this, or maybe you're doing research. Maybe you're spying on them. <laughs> Maybe you are, maybe you're spying on them. Maybe you're waiting for them to get close to you again and you're kind of out with the three of wands, kind of delegating. There's that planning, right? Planning, delegating, three of wands, watching and spying. Take it how it resonates, it's gonna be different for everyone. Yeah, backsliding relationship it could be losing the faith in this person um, or just losing faith all together with whatever situation it is. Like I said, it doesn't have to be love situation here. It could be work. It could be a friend. It could be whatever it is. Okay, so it just feels like you're losing faith. It's almost like the more research you're doing, the more you're losing faith within this, for now we're going to say person. Um, but you're trying to get to your destiny. 
and you're trying to, it almost feels like, where is my destiny? What destined path do I have for myself? Manifesting the destined path for yourself. Law and attracting new cycles. And there's that new cycles with the five, right? And it's just, yeah, it feels very uncertain if you're going to be able to do that. But you're still taking action. Not letting it go. You are going to figure out what needs to be done. And that's what's going to transform yourself, this situation, um, your thoughts, however. Queen of Swords coming in, talking. As you're staying calm, this Queen of Swords is coming in. This could be a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius coming in, speaking. You are waiting for the truth to be told. You are waiting for more signs, signals, and communication. Um, and once you find more information, which it really feels like, then you will know which destined path you will be on. It's almost like I have to wait, though. Um, that's why I'm patiently planning to see where I'm going to stand. Um, but I'm definitely going to need some kind of communication coming through before I know if, my, if I'm going to be... Um, I feel like you need to change your destined path, right? Do I need to change this destined path or do I need to stay where I am? Um, for now, it's going to be hard to say, right? Because you don't have enough research. You do not have enough information um, to know whether or not you're going to move forward or if you're going to stay where you are. Um, that's exactly what it looks like to me. So it's like you're just kind of staying calm and cool over here waiting for the truth. Because over here, you're not seeing any truth to anything. It's just all bright things. In the near future over here, you have the awareness. And the awareness is the magician with the high priestess. So there you have that lawn attracting with the um, higher intuition coming through. And you're saying, um, I have the awareness and the knowledge and I know exactly what's going on and now this is where I'm going to start manifesting. So it's almost like maybe the truth will come through with the Queen of Swords. Um, from some of you, the Queen of Swords will come in with her truth and then for others of you, you're going to still be waiting. Um, okay. But no matter what, with the awareness, there is a message coming in with the Eight of Wands and you do see yourself moving higher um, and taking um, steps towards a higher level, okay? Whether it's a higher level of awareness and using that intuition, or if it's higher levels of just um, taking action. But there's definitely a message, I believe, coming through. You've been waiting for a message, and I do believe that message is coming through, and it's something that has the strength card upside down. This is not giving you the courage that you needed. This is not, you are aware that this message is not giving you what you wanted to know. Um, if anything, this is weakness. You're seeing weakness from this message. This message isn't. Uh, why are you showing me so much weakness? And it's kind of discouraging as, as well. And you're aware of the discouragement that you're getting from this message. Two of Wands, you don't even... Now you're just getting into the point where it's like, okay, so now that I got this, this message of weakness... Um, Boy, what do I do now? Um, this is not the message that you wanted. Absolutely not the message. <clears throat> okay. Because this is going to show that weakness and underdeterminedness. And I think that this underdeterminedness is not from you because you have the awareness. You're showing all the strength. Um, this message, whoever it's coming from, is showing you they're indecisive. They don't know what they're doing. It's showing weakness. It's showing that they should be doing something and they're not. Um, and you're going like, wow, wow, okay, wow, that was the message that I was not, you know, I was not looking forward to with the Knight of Wands. This could be from an Aries or a Sagittarius. This is an Aries card, so it definitely could be come from the Aries, and this message is not a good one. This is not what you wanted to hear from an Aries. Um, it could be an Aries. It could be any of these signs, guys. Remember, it doesn't have to be an Aries. But this message that's coming through is not the powerful, passionate message that you wanted for your transformation. Um, the transformation that you're looking for um, 
is to get over this overwhelming, chaotic situation. And it doesn't look like that's the message. The message does not seem to be that way. <clears throat> not the type of transformation you're looking for. Um, not at all. If anything, they're telling you this is probably not going to work. There is going to be a delay. And I think this is where the weakness is coming in because they're starting to delay the situation. Not, you know, using rational thought. It could even, Scorpio, make you very upset, um, make you very mad, very angry, um, because this message is showing what you don't want to hear. Okay. Ten of Cups. You wanted something that was more satisfactory. You wanted your Ten of Cups. And this was not it. And in fact, if anything, this seems to be causing a lot of drama um, around you. More chaos, more um, overwhelmingness. Yeah, now you're seeing it. It is. There's a lot of underdetermination under from this Knight of Wands, this Aries. They're like trying to say, you know, I'm just don't really have it right now. Um, you know, I, I can't move these. I can't move these sticks over here. I'm not feeling the determination right now because of all the drama that's going on right now. Now I'm starting to feel the pressures. Um, I think that's one of the biggest things is now they are starting to feel the pressures. And I think this is what this message is all about. And this is where you feel like, well, what do you mean the pressures? What do you mean this and that? Why are you being so weak about it? I expected you to be the most determined of them all. And now you're showing me that you don't have the passion to keep going forward. You don't have the passion to keep moving where you need to move. What do you mean? And I see the transformation for them as not doing what they want to do and going a separate way. That's, yeah, they're a challenge. You want to challenge. You're standing up for the challenge and you feel like they put you out in the cold. They're not taking this challenge. They're not going to take this challenge. They've made a judgment call to change the whole challenge. They're standing their ground saying, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not going to, you know, there it is. I'm not going to fight the, the, the good fight. I'm not going to do this. Um, so whatever secret that they had or whatever secret breadcrumbs were going here and there and there and there, you're kind of figuring it all out with your inner wisdom saying, oh, I see what the problem is. You're freaking weak. Oh, I see. You, you can't fix this and you don't want to fix this and you don't want to do this and this and that. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. So the secret is, is that you just want to run around with a mask on and pretend to be somebody you're not or run around and lie to other people and do this and that. And then you're going to come to me and then wear a false mask and then tell me a bunch of nonsense with the King of Swords. Maybe even they're saying, well, the only reason I came back was because, you know, I am the one for you, um, you know, but I can't make this judgment call. I'm too weak. And you're saying you are too weak. And maybe they didn't say it themselves, but the message that they came out, whether it was a message out of their mouth or through a text, it doesn't matter. Okay? And you're saying, whatever. Whatever. If you can't see anything past this, then we're going to have to have a tower moment. And we're, this is going to make us have to fall. And I didn't want that. So they're, you know, hiding this these pieces from you and you're trying to do this and that and and you're like fine I don't know what else to do you know because I was looking for something that you were gonna say that was gonna be inspiring and instead you made something that now we have to like kind of bail out of this situation because you can't be determined enough to pick up the pieces I've been picking up these breadcrumbs from you from two months ago trying to figure this out or maybe you're trying to pick up these breadcrumbs from someone else and then showing them to somebody else. However it is, okay, but in the end, they're not coming to tell you that they're strong and that they're doing this and that. They're showing you this utter weakness and you're going, what are you talking about? Yeah. Take that how it resonates. That, um, 
Yeah. And this could even involve three different people in here, you guys. Um, because it seems like the Queen of Wands over here is, or Queen of Swords, excuse me, is the one that's giving out the information before this other person gives you the message. Okay, so you might be receiving the breadcrumbs from someone else. Yes, and this other person will be the helpful people, so there will still be helpful people around you. Okay. In the end, you're still going to have the abundance of whatever this is, you guys. I don't even... There's so many different scenarios of what this could be, but you'll still have the abundance. It's just that this person is showing you the weakness, and it's going to happen within the next few weeks. Um, so just reconsider that action of what you were trying to do because they're saying they don't have the passion to do that. It could be them moving in with you. Um, oh, my God. There's so many different scenarios. I'm not going to even go there. I'm just going to leave it up to you. No matter what, in the end, you will have a transformation. This transformation is going to lead you to the abundance no matter what. Um, okay. So I'm going to leave it there for you. Um, and yeah. But it looks to me like the destiny that you want, you're still going to get to a, a path no matter what. It just looks like it's not going to be exactly what you thought because... All the secrets, all the fantasies, whatever the moon is upside down, the disillusions um, of the breadcrumbs that they're leaving behind is not bringing you to where you need to be. Okay. So, but no matter what, there will be a transformation and a big one. And that's what's going to bring this other destiny in. But you're just going to have to be fully aware that more than likely they're going to show this weakness to you. And remember, near future doesn't have to happen. Uh, you have free will. It could totally change. They could change their mind. Um, this is what's showing on their mind at this time. Um, so it, nothing is written in stone for the near future, okay, my friends, due to free will. So until next time, my friends, peace and love. Bye-bye.